Hi, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my Floss Tube Extra Stitch Mania 2021 Week 3, which is my final week of at least little clips. I'm going to explain it uh, a little later, uh, but this is my final compilation of my little clips of this week. So welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting. I really appreciate it. If you are new, thank you so much for checking out my channel. And if you are returning, I'm very grateful. Thank you so much. Um, I don't have a lot to tell you uh, in this part of the video. Um, when I'm done talking, <laughs> I'm going to show you my little clips from last week. The final week of Stitch Mania and then it's done and we'll see. Uh, first, um, let me tell you about my uh, plans. I was going to do the full month of May uh, little clips every week and then upload it to YouTube but it's just it's just a lot of work and with my model stitching and life happening I am not able to maintain it anymore so for now this is the final week of Stitch Mania uh, I have done three weeks so 21 days in 2021 I think that's that's wonderful as well uh, for the last week um, I have four blank days in those four blank days I'm going to start one new start tomorrow and in the next week I have three blank days and I'm going to be working on the new starts I started during Stitch Mania and then I have two days where I have projects which I started last year so and next week is my normal regular floss tube video and i am going to show you what i have been working on last week and after that i'm going to just upload every two weeks as normal as usual so that's my plan for now let's see if i'm forgetting something because let me tell you i have a hell of a headache i don't know if you can see it but i I am just full with aspirin because otherwise I couldn't open my eyes. I have so... My headache is worse. So I need to film this, edit it, upload it, and then I'm going to go lay down for a while. So hopefully before Zoom and Stitch tonight with the Stitch Kateers, my headache is just diminished. We'll see. Uh, let me see if I forgot something. One thing I need to tell you before I give you my shout outs and then we'll go to the little clips. Um, I, I think two or three weeks ago I shared my DMC conversion for Winter Rose Manor on Instagram. But I had questions uh, through my email uh, asking if I would like to share the DMC conversion because and then I realize not everybody has Instagram or is using Instagram very often so I'm just going to share my DMC conversion for Winter Rose Manor uh, in this video for the ones who didn't know this pattern or didn't don't have this pattern or are just buying this pattern this is Winter Rose Manor I started it during Stitch Mania, so it will be um, stitched on next week. This is my start, and this is stitched on 32 count Fog Lifter Blend by RR with the call for DMCs, except for a few which I substituted with Victorian Mottos, which I already had from a couple of years ago. Um, but for the most part, it's my DMC conversion, so these are the threads I have and they are wonderful, wonderful DMC conversion. The reason why I made 
a DMC conversion is that, that not everybody is able to buy all the fancy flosses, including me at this moment. I'm not able to buy all the fancy flosses and I want to show you that uh, working with DMC is just as good and gives a great result. So I'm going to put in a picture of my DMC conversion so you can screenshot it and if you would like to use it, uh, you can. I also will uh, put it in my description box of this video and uh, yeah. That way everybody who wants it can have the DMC conversion for Winter Rose Manor. And then lastly, I don't have any happy mail or, or haul or anything like that. So it's going to be a short one this time, I think. I'm not sure. Um, I have my shout outs. I have three shout outs this time around. The first is Somi Sarah which is Sarah. She's from Ireland and she has wonderful projects. She doesn't only do cross stitching, but she, but she shows quilting and embroidery as well. Then we have um, the Sota Stitcher, from Shannon Romo from Minnesota. She, I just love all her projects. Um, you need to check her out. And then lastly, she is uh, somebody who was already on Flosstube for a longer time, but I just recently uh, found her, which is Colleen from the Rebel Stitcher. Um, she has lovely projects. She makes beautiful needle minders and yeah, I just love watching her. She comes across as very natural and very kind. So just check them out. I'm going to link them below and um, yeah, that's it for this week. It's short, but sweet, I hope. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, <laughs> seven minutes in, uh, I'm going to um, give you my little clips from last week, the projects I have worked on for Stitch Mania 2021. And yeah, that's it, I think. I will be back next week with a normal, regular Flosstube video and I am going to show you my projects I have been working on this upcoming week. So for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye for now! Good morning! It's day 15 of Stitch Mania and I'm going to be working on Baby It's Cold Outside for a little bit at least. So we'll see how much I can get done. I am going to concentrate on the words and then we'll see. And I will be back in a few minutes for you. Happy stitching. This was day 15. I have been working on Baby It's Cold Outside and I was a liar liar, pants on fire. I told you I was going to be working on the words but I decided the house or the roof of the house was closer to this snowflake. So I started on the house and I love it. I love how it looks and yeah, we'll see how much I can get done next time. And now I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you tomorrow morning with either a new start or a whip. Bye. morning it's day 16 of stitch mania and i'm going to be working on quaker's pride uh, it's done on 46 count sampler gray light by barbara creations and i'm using the cold for dmc's and yeah we'll see how much i can get done i will be working on the white so i'll see you in a bit this was day 16. I managed to do this entire white part and I love stitching this and I love stitching with the silk stitching app. I have done 
almost 300 stitches and I went from 1.9% to 2.8%. So I've done a lot, I think. And now I need to clean up and we had a bit of a scare yesterday with our washing machine. Um, it burned the motor inside. So my bathroom was filled with smoke. And yeah, today we have to um, take the washing machine out and place another washing machine in place so I can wash again. So I have no time to stitch this afternoon again. So tonight I will be working on my model stitching and tomorrow is a new day. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, it's day 17 of Stitch Mania 2021 and today I'm going to be working on American Gardens by Historische Stiekmuster and I am stitching this on 32 count wooden shoes by me, I believe. Um, I'm not sure, I haven't got the info with me. Uh, I'm stitching this with a call for DMCs and I am working on the first block here and yeah I am not sure I hope to get to start the very 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 big house but we'll see I am going to be stitching and I'll see you later today this was day 17 I have been working on apple blossom no not apple blossom sampler <laughs> American Gardens by Historische Stickmuster I have been working on the tree, on the blossoms to be exact, and you guys, this is a lot of work, this tree. I had to stop and start and stop and start. I finished all the greens in the tree and I finished all the pinks in the tree and I have started working on the whites in the tree. And yeah, it's a lot of work. I did a total of 307 stitches and I ended on 2.9 percent so next time maybe i will finish the tree and start my way onto the big house for now this was day 17 and i'll be back tomorrow bye Good morning, it's Debbie and welcome to day 18 of Stitch Mania. Um, today I'm going to be working on Snow Queen by Mirabilia. Um, the decision wheel chose this project. And this is what I have so far. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to be stitching on this pattern, but we'll see. I am stitching this on 28 count emerald by me and um, with the call for DMCs and we'll see at the end of the day how much I can get done so I'll see you later so this was day 18 I haven't done a lot on this one I couldn't concentrate because I needed to fill in some paperwork for my social benefits because I'm sick at the moment um, but I've done some stitches and every stitch counts, right? I filled in some of the gaps here and I started working with the whisper. I'm showing you up close. It's not that hard to work with. It's when you use shorter lengths, it's manageable. So we'll see, next time I will be working on this one, I will be uh, filling in the rest of the whisper and yeah, we'll see. This is it for today and I'll be back tomorrow. So happy stitching.
Good morning! It's day 19 of Stitch Mania and I got a new start today. Woohoo! I am going to be working on North Pole Milk and Cookie Company by Spooky and Steve on Etsy and I'm going to be stitching it on 32 count navy bean by Lakeside Linens and I'm going to use three salties and yeah I am excited about this start so we'll see and I'll see you later today. This was day 19. I made a very big start, I think. I did a total of 569 stitches and I am currently at 14.70%. I finished North and Pole. I finished the Deer. I made my start on the Mistletoe and made sure I was right with my first part of the border, so I don't think you can see it properly, but the border is green and this is black. This was my start for today and I will see you tomorrow morning. Bye for now! Good morning! It's day 20 of Stitch Mania 2021 and I'm going to be working on Feed Your Soul by Stitches Through the Years on Etsy. And this is what I have so far. I am going to concentrate on the outer border. And yeah, we'll see how much I can get done. This is a beautiful pattern and I can't wait to see it finished. But it won't be <laughs> for a while. So, I am going to see you, for you, in a couple of minutes. Bye! This was day 20. I worked on Feed Your Soul by Stitches Through the Years. And I finished off this outer border until here. So, <clears throat> that was it for today. Um, tomorrow I will be uploading all my little clips from this week. And I am going to change my plans for the last week of Stitch Mania. <clears throat> so we'll see. I'm going to tell you all about it tomorrow. And yeah. Oh, uh, before I forget to tell you, this fabric is 40 count old linen by X2 Design. And I'm using the calls for DMCs, which are beautiful. But the lighting isn't great. So, I love this and we'll see when I get back to this one. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good morning! It's Debbie and this is the final day for me for Stitch Mania 2021. I am going to be working on HL, HL's Moth by Kathy Barrick. And I... Well... I'm just going to say it, I have a terrible headache at the moment, so I'm not sure if I can do a lot on this one. I am going to try for an hour and we'll see if I uh, have any progress or if it is not so much, but we'll see. I am going to be back uh, to show you, so see you in a bit. This is it for the final day of Stitch Mania. I uh, have worked on HL's Moth. I filled in a lot of the reds and I filled in a little bit of a tan color. And yeah, I really like this pattern. I really love Kathy Barrick designs, but my headache is so severe that I can't stitch any longer for this moment. So I'm going to take some aspirin and lay down to see if my headache will, uh, will be less. And then I, this afternoon I will be uh, piecing together all my little clips of this week and will be uploading tonight. So yeah, 
thank you so much for watching and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed my stitch mania progresses and I'll see you in a bit no we'll not see you in a bit I'll see you in a week thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next week for a normal regular floss tube update bye